Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Hi, Angie. Hello, Kayla. You just don't know how many people have been waiting to see your beautiful home. Well, look, I am glad to share it with your viewers and you and come on in and um, we'll, we'll just, look, I just want everybody to know, first of all, don't stop people from coming to your house if your baseboards are dusty or everything's dusty. Look, invite them in and that's what I want to do is you to come in and to see this very affordable vintage junk that anybody can do. Well, again, Angie, we y'all are just going to absolutely have a fit. I've been in here for 30 minutes looking at her collection, but I know y'all met Angie on a couple of our videos at her barn or her corn crib sale. The corn crib. And I just want Angie to introduce herself. I am Angie Barnett. I am a retired school teacher and Kayla was my neighbor for years and years and yes. years. Played with my daughter Katie. All the time. Her mom and dad live next door to us, so we're like family. Katie's that's, like family to us. That's but right. My mom and I, we don't have a business. We've been asked that before, but we have just a, my parents live behind me, and we have a little, um, we have two buildings my mom does, a house just for her antiques that my dad graciously built her. And then a little, we called it the smokehouse at one time, but it got renamed the corn crib that my parents um, helped. Daddy is like our master builder. And we just redid it. We called it the corn crib and we do sales maybe twice a year. And they're awesome. <laughs> and we just go find y'all some good junk that we love. We price it to where anybody can afford it. Absolutely. Because we don't believe in gouging people at all. I don't, I just, I don't think that's terrible when people gouge you, but um, anyway, we call ourselves Spence Row Finds. We, like I said, we don't have a business, just a couple of sales a year, but we go pick in locally and friends give us stuff. So this is this is what we're gonna, we're gonna just look and just say that anybody can do this. Now you can mix new stuff from home goods that look vintage, Target, anywhere, even the Dollar General and put it together. Now, I got this idea off Pinterest, and basically you go get a bunch of these uh, tinsel trees and just stage them. And it's gorgeous, y'all. And just, then uh, go find you little tiny vintage pieces like this little mercury reindeer, the little Rosbro um, blow mold, and put you some fairy lights in there, and then architectural salvage, pull it together, and just ha just have fun with it, basically. And it is <laughs> so fun and beautiful. I'm trying to go slow where y'all can just see everything because y'all, I tell I keep telling everybody. Everybody says, "Who's Angie Barnett? Who's Angie Barnett?" And I say, "She is the queen of junkin'. <laughs> her and her precious mama." Look, my mother gave me the bug, but she caught the bug from her brother Bobby Joe Price who had a mark, everybody knows Bobby Joe if you're from Chilton County. He had a little um, shop in town right by our old Mizell's where the new storage building is now, and he got the best junk. And even as a teenager, I'd go in there with mom. I'm 54, I've been doing this 40 years. But that that's where we got our junking bug, is from Uncle Bobby. So we can thank him for this addiction. And it is <laughs> a beautiful addiction. 
I told Angie, I said, I'm gonna try. I was texting her last night. I said, I'm gonna try to sneak out with as much as I can. <laughs> but I know she's gonna check my pockets before I leave. I'll pat you down. I, I told Kayla she was the jump bridge. Yes, I am. I'm gonna be coming out. <laughs> and y'all just, y'all thought that we hit the mother load of shiny brights, which I guess we did for one, did, for one time. But Angie's collection is gonna just, y'all are just gonna die. <laughs> I want to tell y'all something too. When we when we say shiny bright, I've had to I've had to really educate myself. When we say shiny bright, we we are saying it wrong. Let me, I want to show you the difference okay. between a shiny bright and then there's well all the bulbs were made by Corning mostly. If you get them, well some of them even from you know other places. I yeah, guess. I don't I can't really get that detail, but like this one okay look at the corrugated top right here yes now this is a 1953 little red riding hood on the top of the and i don't know if you can see it on here but on the top it should be stamped shiny bright or made in usa yes that's what we were looking for yes. the made in usa but now look the dif the difference let me find one of the george frank bulbs hold on just a minute because most of my here it is right here if you see the scalloped edge Shiny Bright had a rival, George Frank, Frankie or Frank, yeah. and they also made their own version. Now, Shiny Bright with Max Eckhart, he had most of the, uh, of most of the Oops, ornaments. I about fell. <laughs> but um, George Frank, he was a rival too, he had about 25%. So even though we call them Shiny Brights, look, I'm gonna show you this book. Yes. Get you this book. Off of Amazon. Look, I don't know Jody Pritzel, but she's done a lot of work. But the, let me tell y'all something real funny. I got this book about three weeks ago, standing up here trying to match my uh, uh, ornaments to the beautiful pictures in here, which is great. Yes. Okay, I had written her and asked her a question about the Miro Star ornaments. Well, I'm sitting here looking at this book and I get to the end and I say there's my name she gave me credit for a question so I feel so famous you are much. famous she has another book too about more detailed history but and where did your tree come from okay let me tell you about this tree Anybody that went to Thorsby School knows Sandra Gentry. Yes, she, brought, she was my second grade oh teacher. My gosh. She brought this tree to a beauty contest to put at the back of the stage when I first, oh my gosh, probably five or 10 years into teaching. And I thought that's the most beautiful tree I have ever seen. It is gorgeous. So I said, Miss Gentry, if you ever decide you don't need that tree, you let me know thinking, you know, it's her, this was her mother's tree. Yes. Thinking, you know, that was just a joke. You don't yeah. have a tree. Okay, let's fast forward maybe 10 years. And she had it for sale at a yard sale <laughs> for $25. And she asked me, Did, do you want it? Okay, my heart about fell about out. About exploded. Because, like, Angie, how much do these trees go for on eBay oh, now? $800 sometimes? Well, if you're lucky, because your Aunt Kim was, yes. I, I was keeping an eye out for her. $425 to $550 maybe. Yeah. And, you look, you, if somebody came and offered me a million dollars, it's not happening. That's right. That, that's your that's, Miss Gentry tree. That's my Miss Gentry tree. And that's why I love this stuff because people that give it to me, mm -hmm. every year I put it out, Yes, I think about them Yes, and what they gave me. So, it good way to remember people. Gorgeous. And y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is going to be a long tour because we have so much <laughs> to see and it is all so beautiful. And Shelly Barrett, she was cleaning her um, mother's estate. Uh, bless her heart, her mother passed away. Her mother was a collector, and her mother had this little angel that you can wind it, play Silent Night, in the original box. Oh, my gosh. And she said, I don't. I know you love it, and I don't collect. Would you want it? Oh, my Absolutely. God. I've got several things she gave me. They're all so sweet. And I think that was, a, that was at a yard sale with some little old ladies for maybe a couple of bucks. This one right here. Yes. And she's pretty, too. She's this was, gorgeous. This is my mama's ceramic. Christmas tree, Judy Hale that I taught yes, with. Yes, she was one of our teachers, this yes. Was, this is hers, and then I found this one 
last year at a little antique shop. 35 bucks. What a great, great buy. See, I can afford that. Yes. And, and then... And that's a color wheel. And it is, y'all, but I want to tell you about the color wheels. These color wheels, I've had three of them, and they'll work a little while, and then they'll stop. They get hot. But that's that's a Kurt Adler, just a reproduction. You can get those, but I'll tell you, they half the time, they'll stop. But and they're still pretty. Y'all, just look at just look at all this. <laughs> and this is my favorite of everything that I've done. I found this off Marketplace, and I saw a picture on Pinterest, and I thought, I've got to do this with all these bulbs now. Of course, I don't have them full of all these bulbs because there's cotton batting underneath. But, and all of these are not shiny bright. Some of these are just, you know, vintage, but they're, they're, they all, they're not name brand. They're but look, all it gorgeous. It doesn't matter if they're not name brand. They're still beautiful. beautiful. They're so pretty. The, um, and the... And this is my first year having the shiny brights on my tree. And they just look so much better against at night against all those yes. lights. They just glow yeah. like little stars. Mm -hmm. They're oh, beautiful. Yeah. And this little tree, um, Sweet Pickens in uh, Childersburg. Yes. Not been there. It's so sweet. There is a lady that has an antique booth. And they said she is a retired school teacher as well. She's, she's older. She had this little tinsel tree, and it, I don't think it's like really old, but I love it because the look, these have little hinges that yes. lift up and down, and I love that. It is adorable. And it's cute. It looks vintage. It is. It definitely does. And then for my mantle, basically, um, these are just Target houses that I got several years ago, but I love that they're churches. Yes. Anybody that knows me knows church is a very important part of my life, you know, and look, we've got all this cute little stuff, but it's all about Jesus, and we're going to see the nativity in just a little bit, but um, I love this pink um, ceramic tree. It I was at J&G &G in Prattville, or maybe it's G&J, &G, I think it's J&G &G in the old part of town, and before ceramic Christmas trees got popular, it had on the box $10, our best offer, so I thought, oh, I'll pay the $10. Yes. And look, I love it. I just love that. And y'all, this right here, this is made of cereal boxes. This <gasps> Merry Christmas banner from my precious, who's got on to heaven friend, Wendy Bryan. Oh, I loved Miss it, Wendy. That's why I love Christmas, to give people Christmas things. Because yes. when we go on to heaven to eternity, we can leave a little sprinkle behind yes. that everybody can remember us by because I loved Wendy. And Wendy so was, she oh, she had the fountain of youth in her yard. Yes. She yes. did not age. Nope. I don't know. Not. I guess it, I guess it was just the love in her heart kept her looking yes. so youthful mm -hmm. because that thing never got a day older. And her husband was our principal for years, Mr. Russ Bryan, and he is good as gold. Yep, you can't get any better. And That's why we love our little town, don't we, Angie? Love, we love our town. So, I live in Clanton now, but we are in Thorsby, which is, and my mom and dad live right next door over here to mm -hmm. Angie. And everybody asks about my mama's decorations. My mom ain't a decorator. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, I got my bug from Penny, but um, our little town, we all love each other and take care of each other, yes, don't we, we Angie? Do. We do, we do. It's like our little Mayberry, and I wouldn't live anywhere else. Me either. And that's when I told my husband, I said, when we get married, we have to be within 10 minutes that's driving right. distance of my mama and daddy. Are you, mm -hmm. well, you better? I live in my backyard. That's right. My sister's behind me. My sister-in-law's on the side of me. Look, we just are surrounded by love. That's right. We have our little compound yes. over here. And look, y'all, these are all vintage toys. Do you think I went to an antique shop and paid a lot of money for this? No. These are thrift store finds. Just years of picking up, picking up, picking up. Now, a couple things, you know, I might get in an antique shop and pay, you know, a little bit for. But what I love is this. I don't know how many of you loved Old Maid. I did when I was a little girl. And these are the original ones that I remember from the 70s, the Old Maid cards. Yes. And look, just get you a little tinsel tree, a little rich and go to town on it and it is the cutest little thing for little of nothing because angie memories of that because we have one yes. that looks just like our daddy we always laugh yes. and say that looks just like daddy when we were playing so 
Uh, it just brings back such She's memories. so good at putting stuff together. As y'all have seen at her sales. That's why everything sells because she gives us such good ideas. I love staging. I love to stage. On how to use it. Love it. And this is her other little corner of her living room. This was a cabinet my mama gave me. And it was dark, dark brown. And so I loved, I loved chalk paint probably a little too much. And you use Annie Sloan, right? Yes, I use Annie Sloan. Or now you can go to Walmart and buy the, I don't, I can't remember the brand, but there's some chalk paint. Waverly, it's pretty good. It's good. That's what I and use it's, too. It's, yeah. it's less expensive. But I went to a yard sale. I think the same yard sale I got that angel over there. And there was a little lady and she had these little putts angels. They didn't have wings. I had to make them wings. But, but the so little cute. tiny people, I love those little people. They're so cute. And just sprinkling it with an eye, just get, got some bottle trees from Walmart and found some vintage pieces to put them in. We had, a, at our sale last year, actually, we sold a bunch a of bunch. those. A bunch, yes. Y'all had a whole and, little um, shelf of them. They are so easy to make and so fun to go find the vintage pieces for. And again, all of it, that church up there, I just love that wooden church again. I love churches. And when our Jemison Trade Center was open, I found that. Oh, gosh, it's probably been 20 years ago. And I have moved that thing everywhere, but it is, that's the sweetest piece. Yes, it is. And our little Trade Center used to be famous. We had, oh, who, didn't Conway Tweedy come? We had Conway Tweedy, the Judds, uh, Alabama came. I still got my ticket somewhere where the group Alabama came at the, I know. At the uh, they had a performing center right there too, but I think a tornado or something blew it away. Y'all didn't know we were that big, we, did y'all? Yes. Yep. We're, we're a little bit famous at one time. Yes, we were. And like those little putts houses, I think those are Cracker Barrel. Uh, Amy Barnett, my uh, nephew's wife, she paints all over town. So talented. Yes. Um, did she do that one? Yes, yeah, she did that when uh, I had Brooks, her uh, oldest son, who's in 10th grade now. Yes. And when he was in third grade. And she's just so talented. Yes, she is. Uh and Angie's got her little <laughs> thing dish playing. Dish Look, if y'all have dish, they got some good things uh, um, that you can put and in the background. And you redid this one too, didn't you? Got that. It, Mama found that at um, a thrift store. And it was <gasps> like a sage <gasps> green. And I said, well, we got to paint it. Paint it. And it's Everything. great for hiding all your stuff behind it. And... Yeah, I love pie safes. As you can tell around my house, it's an well, addiction. It's gorgeous. That's, that's my most expensive addiction, but I don't have anywhere else for them, so I guess I'll have to stop. But well, you could just we'll just have to build you another and little look, house. Camouflage the if you got a hopper like I do, and I didn't want to put a hole in my pie safe to put that in there. No, just stick you some stuff on top of it, and, and it I just love blends that little in. Sweet piece, that little um, piece of furniture underneath it. My aunt bought a house over oh, so near nice. where we live in Isabella, and actually the other pie site that had the ceramic trees, and this was in that house. It's and beautiful. And I just told her I'd give her so much for it, and she was glad because she doesn't, <laughs> Aunt Jean doesn't do anything <laughs> um, primitive, so that they know primitive is my thing, but. Oh, this is such a, is this painting up all the time? All the time. It and I found gorgeous. that at, I found that at, um. Uh, a little thrift store in Pelham oh, for a little of nothing. Look at that frame, y'all. It's gorgeous. Just that frame would cost and you an arm and a leg. Think, who would get rid of something like that? I it's know. So, all the time that somebody put in it. But I'm glad they did because look, it matches my little houses. Yes, it does. It was the night before. Christmas. These were at Wright's Drugs years ago, years ago, and Mama would go get one each year. And then she let me have them, and I just love them. And the Fisher Price little things here. Um, I love Fisher Price, y'all. I also collect Fisher Price toys because the kids still play with them. When Emily Catherine, my littlest one, she's and almost she two. is when we a walk doll. Out, every time she says, "Wow, wow!" So she, <laughs> she gets to get them down. She's got. She's just got me wrapped around her finger. But y'all, y'all, she is. Literally the cutest little <laughs> rottenest looked, looking looked thing. Super junkie yesterday. She and uh, my four year old Waylon, the little grandbabies. And he's adorable. Oh, he's got an eye for junk. And sometimes when we're down at mom and daddy's, we can hear him playing yes, in the backyard. Sure. Mom will say, There, Angie's got her grandbabies. <laughs> you probably hear me scolding him sometimes. Nah, well, hey. Like 
He likes to get, do things he's not supposed to do. We all need some scolding in her beautiful nativity. Ugh. That's my favorite. That's the willow uh, people. Um, yes, the willow tree. And I love that nativity. My mother bought me those pieces for Christmas one year. But y'all, this, the stable where they are, it was made out of Rodney's grandfather's <gasps> oh, goodness. The wood from the barn. So that is very special. Uh, to us, right. we had a friend um, named Johnny that made it for us. And anybody knows me. <laughs> no. She loves Little Look, House. Did y'all see my shirt? Look, this I got be a very pretty Christmas. And you got to meet them. Look, I got to go and have break. Not just meet them, but sit and have breakfast with some of the cast members in Rogersville two weeks ago. Look, that was Christmas birthday wrapped in one. And, but I'm you, still you, dreaming about them. You sat next to them, though, didn't you? Like, Look, weren't you right next to her? Charlotte Stewart, who played Miss Beetle, sat beside me. Sarah Carter, across the table. Uh, Pamela was her first name. And then, I, look, their actor names, I, I meant their real names, we don't know. We just know them as the characters That's on there because right. we love them. Um, Andrew Garvey on the other side of Rodney. And then Dean Butler, Almanzo Wilder, he was on down, but and Baby yes. Grace, yes, she, um, Wendy Lulee, she was at the other end, but they just mingled with us. And if you'll look at my things, I was able look at this little tree here. Wendy Lulee has an Etsy shop, y'all, and she makes Nellie, Laura, and Mary little little clothespin ornaments, <laughs> so and she sweet. made this little wooden ornament, and she made this little wagon ornament and signed it. And they, look, it just went with my stuff. It is perfect. I tell Rodney, I want to sell our house. And y'all may think I'm crazy. I want to build the Ingalls house exactly identical to how it is. And that's where I'm going to live for our retirement years. Well, Angie knows if she sells this house, who's going to buy it? <laughs> Cause yes, because look, if she's I'm right next door to her mom. It would work out well. And if Corey don't want to, he can just... He, he can live in one of the. Can he, can, he, on. he can live in one of the little houses out back. That's exactly right. Cause I've got one he can live in. Yes, out back. that's what I said. I said, Angie, if you ever sell this house, you know who's coming to live here. <laughs> and I would love and appreciate it. And I, but but she's got to leave everything in. <laughs> Look, that would be a thing. Could I fit all this in the Ingalls house? No, know, so you just, they might, just had a, I might have to just. I don't know what I'd do. You'd have to leave it in here with it me. Would be, it would be full little Ingalls house. this we are sharing today just her den and her kitchen but yes it Angie is she does not do bedrooms nor bathrooms decorating because it's kayla always says in her videos look we live like a buzzard well yeah. we do too and that's our buzzard roost that's right and, but... I, and i babysit my grandbabies and look we just we, we live in that place they know yes. they know in, some things are off limits but that's their little haven but uh, this is one of my favorite things. Um, oh my this goodness. cabinet, first of all, I looked, looked out. Um, this young girl had it on Marketplace for little of nothing. She she got it for her bathroom. It didn't work. She wanted to get rid of it. Didn't have a top. I had to, I had an old table that I could add that. But it works perfect for any season. But I love y'all can just tell I love vintage Santa stuff. And even if I can't afford the real stuff, like this is a reproduction from Traditions. That's a store online. Yes, Penny very, has that one as well. Very inexpensive, in my opinion. Um, Compared to what you would pay. The alternative is yeah. 300 bucks, and Angie's not doing that. That's just insane. But um, there's so many things in here that just make me smile because a lot of my shiny brights, my friend Betty Janney, when they were planning out her mother's estate, when her mother was going to come down here and live for her to help take care of her, she brought them by one day, and she got me hooked on shiny brights. This has probably been about five or six years ago, and I've only been collecting shiny brights for probably four or five years. But she got me hooked, and I, she, anytime she finds anything that she thinks I would love when she's helping others to clean up, she brings it to me. She's a great friend to that and 
I love her too. She's she's so crazy. good. And y'all, how many our... people did not have a Santa a Santa pen in the seventies yes. or even the eighties that you'd pull his little string and his nose would light up? Oh, I love him. Oh, he came from Shelly um, Barrett yes. Morris when she cleaned her mama's house out. But isn't he the prettiest thing ever? Love he's him. a reproduction, but he's cute. He's but, but, but um, he looks he looks vintage though. Yes, like, that's why I love him. He's a very because some of the reproductions yeah. you can, are, are not as, mm -mm, but his as the cute. style of their face is very similar they to got, the old. Mm -hmm. There's some like Belk had some. I just didn't like their face. It just didn't have that little character, I guess, in it. He's just so sweet. But he is so sweet. But like y'all, right now the thrift stores are in Alabama anyway. They I went to the one in Alabaster yesterday. I was overwhelmed at how much Christmas people it's are putting out. A ton. And yes. Kayla and I both were talking before she started videoing about some things we just found yesterday that were some cute little collectibles for little of nothing. But I um, got two of the little Napco Japan uh, reindeer, and Angie found some beautiful stuff we'll show you in a second. And y'all, the thing about it is, anybody. And it, look, it doesn't matter if you're 80 years old. You could start a collection, you know, to, to have one day for a grandchild. It's just fun if you like this kind of stuff. And Lord knows we love <laughs> But look, how many of y'all did not remember when you had cupcakes at school and you got these little rings? Yeah. You don't get this kind of stuff anymore. Isn't that sweet? I mean, a lot of times people just chunk them, but they're just so sweet. Angie just has, I'm telling y'all. You know how, like, when people loot stores, when people think, <laughs> if anything happens, I'm looting over here at Angie's. We'll just call Kayla the junk grinch once That's again. Right. But all this is thrift store, or some of it is eBay, but Rodney got me this last year. The Y'all, Rodney knows me so well. Her husband, Rodney, is good as gold. Nancy and Tom Hewitt are collectors, too. And they sold me some Halloween things. Well, when I went, they had this in the original box. Mm. And I said, if you ever decide you need to part with him, Angie, he needs to come to my Santa collection. So, Rodney had heard me say that, but at the time, they didn't want to sell it. So, he went last year, and they sold him that. And I was so happy. Well, it went to a wonderful for, home. For the best husband. Yes. I want to show y'all her light fixtures, y'all. It is just, ugh. Don't look at that. There might be a cobweb. No, right there's well, not. When we built this house, there was a guy in Tennessee, and I had seen his, um, it, I think it was online. If we even had online, I guess, 15 years ago. It could have been a magazine. Very inexpensive, and he, he did the little uh, punch tin things that I love, but... Um, I do a little like a little candy store for for the grandbabies. Of course, they know that they don't get to come over here and play with this kind of stuff because a lot of it is breakable. But I just add in things that either people have given me, I find at yard sales or the thrift store, and I put them in here. And um, I have a friend, Kayla Robinson. She had yes. a whole bunch of blow molds from her grandmother last year. Look, I've never seen Tiny Tim. I've never is seen Tiny Tim. There was two, and I gave one to my daughter, Katie. She started loving collections, too. Oh, Katie does it? That? No, I, li I really she can't. She used to hate it, and now she's like, Mama, quit, quit putting stuff for sale. I want that. And if y'all knew Katie, <laughs> look, me and Katie, which Katie was always a little thing, but I was a fat hog. I still am pretty <laughs> big, but... We would get in Katie's Barbie Jeep that she had, yes. and Katie would come riding up to the house. Sweetest. I've got a picture somewhere I'm going to have to dig out and for she, your viewers. And she said, she said, Miss Debbie, can Kayla come play? And we'd get in that Barbie Jeep, and it would say, because <laughs> it would best be bogged. Days, the best yes, days. It would be just bogged down with us in it, because it, I'm sure we I weighed too much to be in it, but we no. had the best old time. Well, that was just good days, and it's, it's like I said, you can't beat where we live and the memories, and that's why I love this stuff. That's why my home feels so warm, because it's stuff that reminds me of my friends and my family. Um, I love, this is an unusual Howard Gale um, vintage Santa. He's, he's a little pink. scary looking, but he's pretty, no. but he's pink and I think it was an Avon maybe that put it out in here. Probably. I, I love to do the history behind stuff, but being, being a retired school teacher, I don't know where everything comes from. And this, I oh love gosh. her Jackson well, look, Treasure. Cookie. I think it's Treasure Box in Selma. When I saw that, I said, oh, that's going to be full of ornaments. And we have a grandson named Jackson. 
So when he saw it, he said, did you buy that for me? Because it says Jack. He, she did. Her I dead. said, I did one of these days when Nani's going to live with Jesus, then we'll make sure that you get that and put it in your house. That's so right. I can document that that's going to my Jackson Ryder. And there's her rat. <laughs> indicate, look, she gets this little rat and she says, rat. Every time, and I do let her hold it. She breaks it. It's okay, because guess what? I might have paid a quarter for it. It's fine, but... And this, oh, oh, Lord, this is just so precious. Mama got me that cash register. She got it at a thrift store uh, a couple years ago, and she said, I'm going to give it to you for your birthday Christmas last year. It is so, awesome. Yes, I've got so many things that they're just sweet. I told y'all Angie was the queen. And look, these are Dollar General, y'all, from two years ago. Is that not the cutest? He is adorable. I mean, I think I paid a dollar for these. And then Shelly and her mother's stuff, she had, look. I love that. Is that, that not sweet? And we just bought some, it's a set of string lights. The heads look just like that. Yes. And I didn't put them out this year because I'm just getting started on my collection. But this is what I aspire to well, be, y'all. <laughs> on you so just know that once you start that it's it can be it can be a little you you have to i have to call sometimes and like i said i've given katie a bunch of things i just when i get tired of something i'll swap them out but even these little gift cards this reminds me so much of when my kids were little yeah these are the tags that you y'all go try to find some tags now i know and just see they're stickers or they're you know, they're they're not this is this is just mid century modern, just good. Yes. It's just good. So when you see because you'll find them um in the thrift store. I was showing Kayla got this yesterday. At our little local thrift store mm -hmm. in Alabaster. Y'all look at that. Unused from the sixties. You can tell something is old when there's no UPC codes. UPC codes came in nineteen seventy four. Yeah. So if you're finding something you can just tell by the graphics that's Dude. 60s you can look and tell about 60s maybe early 70s but that's another clue of how to tell if something is old is no upc code on there and i love this little shopping cart oh look that was another marketplace find from a lady that had an antique shop and i had been looking for one it was on marketplace and i could not get there fast enough to get it and everybody that comes says i want that because look you can just use it for anything everything and y'all look walmart had these does he not look vintage he does a dollar this year he is the sweetest little just so sweet and who is this that is waylon way two years ago i did a little silhouette of him getting him to stand didn't, still didn't you do it? our silhouettes when i was in school yes well miss miss i think miss uh watley coker miss coker okay watley did because um, my cause mother has yes, she, my mother has mine and i don't know who did Miss Gentry do them too? Because she Gentry, Miss Gentry, may have. I think did was had me and Shane. She may have, and, and that's where I got the idea is from school teacher friends. I thought it was so sweet. Anybody can do that. Just stand them up against a yep uh, with a light behind them and trace their little face, or even use a picture. But my mama has mine and Shane's. I've got Riley's. Um, in my hope chest. And who, one of your students got you this? Joseph Price. Oh, mom. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph is a senior this year. And I just found that in my attic. I guess when I put it in a box to bring home. Because, you know, you, you know, if you're a teacher, you're looking at your students they just love to on you. And Christmas time. Yes. You get so much stuff. And it somehow got misplaced. And that was the best find for my little shiny bright bulbs or my little vintage bulbs. Y'all just look. And y'all, those reindeer were in top of Mama's garage barn. She used to have the Santa. She thinks that we only had a yard sale years ago. Somebody must have slipped off with him because she couldn't even. She, we don't know where he went. But anyway, those things sell just one little reindeer, y'all sell for like two fifty to three hundred. Absolutely. And she's yes. not gonna pay that, but my mama did let me borrow it. And her mama, y'all, is a hoot and a half. She yes. don't, I she don't her, like to be on camera. No, I said, Mama, come over here when Kayla's video. And so no, like, I ain't going. Said, you just call me when you're done. Um, but yeah, y'all, that's what I got. Y'all, I got some more stuff. 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 Y'all,
there's some more. Y'all, the little nativities, y'all look at the thrift stores for them because you can get them just for a couple of dollars. Aren't they not just the sweetest? They're adorable. Oh my gosh. I mean, Christmas is about Jesus, so we got to put some, we got to remember that. I mean, all this other stuff is cute, but my grandkids know that it's about Jesus' birthday. That's right. We just celebrate them all year long, don't we, yes. Angie? If I could leave this a lot of this out all year long, I would, but I just save it for Christmas because it's just special. Because and... she's got, y'all, now that Angie's let us come, she's broke the mold now. She's going to have to let us come back for her other stuff. And look at these little books. Oh, oh my gosh, I love the nativity one. Oh, the story of Jesus. My mama got me that. Um, it, it, I guess it used to be a writing desk at one time. She got me that years ago for Christmas. And she knows me, and it's so, look, I just go crazy with the things she gets me. And I just sat, Daddy had made some of them. Uh, yes, because you were selling those, yes. I sold those, and it just fit perfectly in there. My little cedar, little cedar, uh, sapling branches from the backyard that's where i you know <laughs> angie does mama's got those all those trees at the edge of her yard yes and i just go and go crazy now her precious mother this is my mama child she let me borrow it because we look we, we live like buzzards like i said no, no we, we don't do a tablescape but look at, look at this dobo and i asked her i said mama where did you get it i bought it at the jemison trade center again so there yes. we go Years ago, and I said, "Well, what you? What? How many years?" She said, "Probably twenty. I said, "What'd you pay for?" I think it was a hundred dollars. I said, "Okay, today it, I don't even know what mm -hmm. one like that would mm -hmm. cost today." And y'all are rolling pins. I don't this. own one rolling pin. These are mamas. She let me borrow them, and I love them. And now I'm thinking I want some rolling pins, especially the color. Yes, pins. I bought several from y'all. I sales. know, I know, but look. She still got more at her little house, so she just she said I just pick them up when I go. Now, is your mama's house decorated like this? No, she does a little bit of decorating, but uh, she just but likes she to collect. She used to, but she just I don't I think it's just the time. It takes a lot of time to decorate and then to put it up. And now, so we you had mentioned the little house out there. Y'all got to come back. I'm already, yes, she's already said yes. Good for because this spring because when I say. This Everything. Like a, oh my gosh, just a sprinkle of what she has. Every, she has, let's say, one, two, three, four rooms, and every room is like, Kayla's going to have a good battery. Yeah. Because it's everywhere. It's like a Cracker Barrel store, it like is hanging from the A Cracker Barrel on crack because it's everywhere. And it, and we had Katie's baby shower there, yes. and that's, and I've seen, I saw it there, and I just about yes. fell out. Well, it is. <laughs> It is beautiful, and the good thing is she can get things and she'll put it in there. Yes. She has no clue. Yes. Daddy said, where'd that come from? Oh, I've had that. Yes, so. yes. <laughs> and it is, y'all, I would I would live in it. Oh, yeah. And you would, too. I would. I already told her, Mama, now look, if you ever want to sell, I'm not selling that. That's my place I go when I want to get away from you, Daddy. And that's about the truth. And she had a little bakery in there one time, didn't she? She was going to do a bake. Well, she did like a, the home stuff where you can do the home bakery at home. Yeah. And she, But she would do it out there, and it, it just got overwhelming, I think. Yes. She just realized, look, there's not a whole lot of money in this anymore in my time. And you know it can steal your joy once you something becomes a job. That's right. But y'all, yes. We have got to in the spring, y'all. Y'all, y'all get all ready. Invited. Yes, because it is yes. unlike anything you have ever seen. And just look at Angie's beautiful cabinet. She was telling me about these. I just mm -hmm. love them. I oh. mean, I was gonna get some good cabinets uh, when we moved in here. If, if I had to do without something else. And again, all these things you, that you're seeing. Y'all, my little grandson Jack. Little He's Jack. Almost ten. Um. He wanted me to be sure to show y'all that Yes, this was what he made. Jack, you're going to be famous. He wants to be famous for his gingerbread house. His mm -hmm. daddy and he tried to make one. It just didn't turn out too good. So, Donnie came to the rescue. And, and tell me what these were called again. Okay, these are, y'all, I got these at a thrift store for a dollar for a big old bag. These bring back such memories. But they're reflector lights. And it's just got the plain old little thing, but they've got little, little flowers. I yes. know some of y'all that are my age remember these on your mama's tree. They're so adorable. look for those because you can find them. 
And then this was my mama's um, crystal pine uh, gumdrop tree. Is it not the prettiest? I've never even seen that. Yes, they're called, this. the bottom says crystal pine. Crystal but they, pine. When, you know, our my mother, and when she was probably in her 20s and 30s, when they would have people over, they would have this set out. So yes. that's probably from 60s or 70s. And see y'all, she just has little stuff tucked everywhere and it just all looks so good together. Well, again, I, I, that little house that we're talking about of mama's, it comes in handy because she, I can go and stage and get what I need from her. And, and she's so gracious. She just says, look, don't break it. Mama, I'll be so careful with it. And look at this bread box. Oh, oh my gosh. I think we got that when we went to Tennessee, and I just keep my, my cookbooks in there. And it comes in handy to do that. It and it's is, red. Look, you can't beat a red. No. A red bread box at Christmas. No, you can't. And, and Tom's. Then if you got, yeah, if you've got some, um, and they don't even have to be Tom's. Walmart sells those. Yes. And those aren't shiny bright. Those are just. They're adorable. I think they're wash bulbs that are vintage. Um, this is. Bread so bowls stuffed with your. And I love the, I love, see, I have a bunch of utensils, but I didn't mix any of the ornaments in. I'm going to have to do that well, next Well, you know, year. I get a lot of that off Pinterest. And you just can't. I, 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 I have to see Pinterest in different things. Etsy to look. To Everybody watch this video a bunch and screenshot it because yes. I know I'm going to. Because look, it's, I borrowed ideas too, and that's why I love to do this. Because so. next are year. Y'all in history. When you go and rescue something from the thrift store, and you display it, you are saving history. Because they're not going to make, vintage stuff's not coming back, y'all. It's, it's, once you, once it's gone, it's gone. Because like the vintage glass bulbs, they stopped making those in the 70s. Christopher Ratko came along and he's doing reproduction shiny rocks, but they're yes. not. Just I mean, not, they're not the same. same. They're pretty mixed mm -hmm. in. They're beautiful, but it's just not the same. It's, it's, I know. And who does not remember ribbon candy? Yes. Walmart has this. Three dollars for a box. Is that not the prettiest display? Yeah. Dollar General. This look, our all our grandmothers had this yes. a, in their candy. Yes. Dish. <laughs> and we would probably have to lick one and put it back half the yes. time. Oh, I don't like it. this one. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. And the little fairy lights and the oh the ball jars. The just Look, I'm just telling y'all, it is so doable. Start right now in your thrift store, local thrift store, because you're gonna find some things. You're, it's just a treasure hunt. Yes, it is. I am tore up. I am just. <laughs> Y'all well, get tore up when I see your stuff. I don't and know. And ain't I don't too, know why. Cause... Because I love it too. This is what I aspire to be, y'all. Well, you can, look, anybody, that's the great thing, Kayla, anybody, it doesn't matter, look, if you are a single mom and trying to make ends meet, just add a little bit at the time, because you that's can get right. some for a couple of dollars, and by the time you turn around, you've got a collection. See, Angie's got lots of junk and experience on me, but I see, I want mine to like this right now. <laughs> And this is Angie's little she shed. What do you do out here, Angie? <laughs> I run from grandkids and kids and husbands. With the, they know if I'm out here, usually a lot of times I come out here and do Bible study or I have my music out here or my magazines. I'll bring my laptop sometimes because I can pick my Wi-Fi out, out here the signal and do a movie. That air in here just don't have heat, so I got to work. On, I've got to work on that for the winter time. It is adorable. I just live out here. Well, look, I sometimes just have thought about it when life just gets so noisy on the inside. Look, and like I, I could just live right here and just walk out the back door to my mom and daddy's house. Yes, you could. Just, I mean, I can see your mama's house right here where I'm standing. You can see our our dog pens out there. She, can probably hear us from she probably can. She'll say, yeah, I hear my young and up there. <laughs> I love the angel. I got one similar to this from a sweet lady on the yard sale gave Rodney, it to me. I had the stuff and Rodney said, I can, I can easily make that. So I, I just, we just, I just love that little, in that, thing and that sweet little wheelbarrow. It's all so precious. And look, if you want to come in, you can. It's not decorated for Christmas at all. But, um, oh, it's so cute. It's cold in here. But I just bring my, and hey, look. Oh, and the antiques. Oh, oh, I love that. Is that which one? The oh, yeah. That's, that's your look, Fitz Ray Fines one. This is my, I want this in my house so bad, and I, I pretty much beg, but 
my daddy says he just didn't think it's feasible to put that in sheetrock. It's so heavy. Yeah. Which I said we could find a stud behind there, but that is the Jemison Trade Center sign. sign that I never would have dreamed when they were closing down they would have sold. And I just said, hey, are y'all selling that? And they said, everything's for sale. So. Angie, you have got just a little safe haven out here. It is. So, it, everybody needs a she shed. Yes, they Look, do. Just go, just save and get you one of those little. Now, my daddy and I built this uh, six years ago. It took us a whole summer. And I told my daddy I would not give anything for the time we spent together doing this. And, and if I ever move this thing, I don't know how we're going to get it. But it's, we'll have to cut these pine trees down. Money. But it's going yes but everything again thrift stores a couple of antique things in here but this is perfect it is a nice little place to come when you especially like i said for bible study it's just quiet out yes, here yes and, and it's um, just your little cabin mm -hmm. i absolutely and i first it. started out said a fence row, fence row finds it was fence row primitives i yes. had this grand idea i was gonna open me a shop but you know, once you get into the red tape of everything that goes along, you just decide, mm, no, that takes the joy out of it. But, yeah, if I sit in here, sometimes you'll see a little, little spider or a little ladybug crawl by. Cause you, and, and critters, we've had a squirrel in here before. It, they like, will get in here. It said, we are just, mm -hmm. this is, <laughs> we just gone to seek refuge yes. in this place. And I, I switch back and forth. I'll bring stuff in the house out here or bring something here. And all your beautiful stained house. glass. So. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like everything else well, you've got. thank you, Kayla. But before Kayla ends this, I'm on, I'm, I want to uh, surprise her <gasps> with something. I, I got it in here. I'm tore up. <laughs> look, this is a shiny <gasps> bright. <gasps> but look, we've got Santa playing the guitar and Santa playing the accordion. And this is a more rare little shiny bright from what I've found. You can't hardly find it, but it, now see, every time Kayla... Puts us out for yes. Christmas. You can say, that's my Angie Barnett yes. shiny bright. Oh, Angie, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I love it. Oh. So, if you've got friends, look, if you've got extra, share because you might inspire somebody else to be a vintage ornament collector or I love saving it. history. I look at it as saving history. Angie, thank you. You're welcome. I love it. Y'all, and y'all tell Angie thank you below for letting us come because Look, this has been a long time coming. I, this is the first time I've ever had a home tour. That's no right. Because I'm very OCD at times and I just feel like, oh, it's not clean. I don't care anymore. Look, it's about, <laughs> it's about sharing joy with others because the time we live in now, y'all, we got to share some joy and we got to share some Jesus. Too. That's right. A hundred percent. Yes. If you don't know Jesus, that's the most important thing. That's like, right. Invite him on in. That's right, and he just, and like we always say, life is not a bed of roses, but he never promised it would be, but without him, I, I just do. don't think I could make no, it at all. No. I would have gave up hope a long time ago, yeah. and that's what he gives for us. He's hope, and he just keeps us centered, don't he, Angie? He does. He absolutely does, and, and he's blessed us, and like I said, it's, it's just a blessing to have friends and family that love me enough that they they yep. call or message and say, do you want? That's love right yes. there. To that, you know, to just remember. To be thinking about that. other That's people. That's exactly right. It's right. Exactly and right. they know, and it gives them joy to see you have joy. Yes, yes. And that's what it's about. It's just, it makes me happy. Every time I get somebody, I'm like, I don't want to get, I want to get to them right now. <laughs> I know, exactly. And like, and your kids, I'm glad Katie is, but you know, your family may not have an interest in vintage things, yeah. but there may be somebody that, you know, that could be a connection with you to bridge them. And then you have conversations about Jesus with that's them. Right. That's right. It just opens doors. Yes, it does. Hey, he uses every single person does. down from, that's what everybody talks about, nurses at the hospital. Yes. I said, but look, I said, we have a man named Walter who is our custodian, and he shares, yes, he shares Jesus with everybody he comes into contact with. I said, he uses everybody from every walk of life. I mean, he could that use. That is amazing. That you, boldness. That's to, right. To share, to and, share the name and, of Jesus. And people, people say stuff. But I said, you know, he may use 
an inmate that's in prison that may never Absolutely. get out of prison, but they met the Lord. He he may use them more than than a king or a queen or anybody. Yeah. So it just nobody is too low or too high for the grace you know, of the Lord. So we're all unworthy, to be honest with you. That's of right. His mercy and grace, and it just blows my mind. That's right. That He could use somebody like me, but. Well, Angie, we absolutely appreciate it. We love it. We love you. And I know y'all are going to so enjoy all of this. And I can't wait to get home and put it together wait, and watch I it. I can't wait to show my mama because she's, like I said. And y'all, again, y'all all come back. Maybe hopefully in the spring, early spring yes. when her flowers are all blooming. Just let me know, honey, and, and I'll be here. Y'all come back. <laughs> We'll, we'll go to Mary Crumpton's little house. Yes, because <laughs> it is a sight. Well, thank you, Angie. Y'all have a Merry Christmas, and thank you for coming. Yes.